what is a hypothesis, how are hypotheses formulated and what types of hypotheses are there? That's what we will discuss in this video. Let's start with the first question. What is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is an assumption or conjecture about a relationship. For example, your hypothesis might be men earn more than women in Germany. Our goal now is to test this hypothesis. So we want to know whether to reject or retain the hypothesis. But how do we do that? First of all, we need data. Data collection? We did a survey of 1000 employed people in Germany. The collected data we can then analyze with the help of a hypothesis test. Data analysis, for example, we would use a t-test for independent samples. But can we just test every statement? No, hypotheses are not simple statements. Hypotheses are formulated in such a way that in the further research process, they can be tested with collected data. What does that mean? In order to test a hypothesis, it is necessary to define exactly which variables are involved and how the variables are related. Hypotheses are therefore assumptions about the relationships between variables. But what is a variable? A variable is a property of an object or event that can take on different values. For example, eye color is a variable. It is the property of the object eye and can take different values, for example, blue, brown, and so on and so forth. If you're doing research in the social sciences, your variables may be gender, income, or attitude towards environmental protection. If you're doing research in the medical field, your variables may be body weight, smoker status, heart rate. So one hypothesis could be gender has an impact on salary or there is a correlation between body weight and heart rate. But what is it about null and alternative hypotheses? Two hypotheses are always formulated that assert the opposite. These are called the null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis assumes that there is no difference between two or more groups. An example, the salary of women and men does not differ in Germany. In contrast, the alternative hypothesis assumes that there is a difference. Example, the salary of men and women does differ in Germany. It is important to note that it is always the null hypothesis that is tested with a hypothesis test. Thus, the null hypothesis is always either rejected or not rejected. Learn more in our hypothesis testing video. In the next step, it is now important to distinguish the different types of hypotheses. Hypotheses are distinguished between difference hypotheses and association hypotheses, as well as directed and undirected hypotheses. Let's start with difference and association hypotheses. Difference hypotheses test whether there is a difference between groups. Example, the group of men earns more than the group of women, or smokers have a higher risk of heart attack the non-smokers. Thus, in the case of different hypotheses, there is one categorical variable and one ordinal or metric variable. The categorical variable is, for example, gender with male and female or smoking status with smoker and non-smoker. The ordinal or metric variable is, for example, salary or risk of heart attack. What does this look like for association hypotheses? Association hypotheses test relationships or correlations between two variables. An example. The bigger a person is, the heavier he or she is. Or the more horsepower a car has, the higher the consumption. Therefore, with association hypotheses, we have two ordinal or metric variables and we test for example, 
whether a high value of one variable is associated with a high value of the other variable. This now brings us to the directed and undirected hypotheses. In the case of undirected hypotheses, the question is whether there is a difference or correlation regardless of the direction of the correlation or difference. Two examples. There is a difference between the salary of men and women. However, it does not matter whether women or men have a higher salary. We just want to test if there is a difference. We don't care about the direction of the difference. Second example, there is a correlation between height and weight, but it does not matter if the correlation is positive or negative. We just want to test if there is a correlation. Directed hypotheses, on the other hand, additionally indicate the direction of the relationship or difference. Men earn more than women. The more horsepower a car has, the higher the consumption. So now we know what hypotheses are and the next video continues with hypothesis testing. We want to find out what are hypothesis tests and why do we need them, how do we interpret the results of a hypothesis test and most importantly, how do we find the appropriate hypothesis test. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you right back.